this is Karan Shah for CG Tuts and today we are going to create a low poly game character first we begin by loading our reference image in background go to view background image press use background image button and then load your reference I can zoom in and out with mouse scroll wheel and pan with shift plus middle mouse button. Let's close this. Place the 3D cursor in the center with left click. Hit space, add mesh cylinder. Reduce the vertex number to 8 as we will be modeling low poly. Anything less than 8 will be too low poly or look too blocky. Go to the right view by hitting 3 on the numpad, 1 for front and 3 for right. Rotate the cylinder 90 degrees, press R, N and type 90 and press enter. Let's split the 3D view, 1 for front and the second one for right. Enter into edit mode by hitting tab key. Press A to select all vertices and move them with G key and place it on the top of left foot. Scale it down with S key and moving your mouse. The reason I move the vertices through edit mode and not moving the cylinder itself in the object mode is because by moving the object it will move the object center also and we don't want that and if we move only the vertices the object center remains at its position adjust and scale the vertices to match the reference both in front as well as side view Press F9 or the editing context button and add mirror modifier. The new mirror vertices are now placed in the exact opposite position. That's why we want the center of the object to be at the center of the body. Enable do clipping. Press this to see the vertices of the mirror mesh. Delete the top and bottom center vertices. Mostly we will be moving and scaling along the reference to match it. Again G to move. Shift G to move with precision. And press E to extrude move and scale it accordingly to match the reference to scale only on a particular axis press middle mouse button while scaling press middle mouse again to change the axis or press X Y Z from the keyboard to choose the axis. To select a edge loop or loop of vertices hold ALT key and right click on the loop.
press R to rotate. and of course save the file press ctrl w to save it Now we select these three vertices and extrude them. In the top view, numpad 7. We align them by pressing S to scale and the middle mouse button to select the axis and finally pressing 0. Move them to center. You can turn off the 3D grid and axis lines if you want to have a clean 3D view from the view properties options. Now we have our waist started. We will extrude it along the reference again, moving, scaling, and tweaking to match the body. Select the edge loop and move it a bit to give roundness to the body.
I think we don't need this edge loop so let's delete it Now let's start adding hands or arms. Make sure you are in the edit mode. Hit space, add mesh, cylinder. Vertices should be 8. Turn off cap ends. Rotate and position the cylinder. Start extruding it along the reference. Move and scale and tweak according to the image. Now we need to join the arm to the body. We see that we have 8 vertices here for the cylinder and we want to join the arm to these vertices here. Let's see how much vertices we have here. Mm, we have 6 vertices. So we need 2 more on the outer edge for a perfect match with the arm so let's add a loop cut with control R and now we have 8 vertices delete the center point now with the edge select mode bridge the two mesh select two edges one from arm and other from shoulder and then press F to make the face in between Tweak the points a bit. And prepare the mesh for the neck.
pick the points from all views To add shoes, extrude the bottom loop twice, shape them, and select the four front faces, extrude them, scale and then extrude again tweak and shape the points to give them a good shape press alt b to select only the part of mesh you want to concentrate Extrude the sole first the front part then the heel separately Add an extra loop and scale it down a bit. Press Alt B and return to the complete mesh. Save your file. For the head, we start with a separate object. 
cube. In the edit board, subdivide it two times. Select all points with A and press Shift S and move your mouse away. This will turn it into a sphere. Place the mesh to match the image. Pull these vertices to bring out the shape of the head. Right now the deformation is not smooth so press O to enable soft selection. Move the mouse scroll to increase or decrease the range of the effect. Tweak the points a bit to bring out the shape of the head from side view as well. Now we scale and tweak the points in the front view. For the neck, in the side view, select these bottom vertices, extrude them and scale down. And then extrude further to bring out the neck. Don't forget to save the file. Now select all vertices left to the center line and press delete. We will add the mirror modifier to the head. Press this small button to see the vertices of the mirrored part and turn do clipping on. What do clipping does is that the center points don't move. You can see the difference by turning off do clipping and moving all the points. So let's turn back to clipping on add an edge loop with control R smooth out the top points Here will be the eye socket. Add a loop cut. This will be the top margin or the limit for the eye socket. Pull this loop down. This will be running across the eye level. With face select mode, select these faces and extrude them, scale them down. Tweak the vertices to give a nice shape.
though the eyes will be painted and will be the part of texture still we'll mark out the edge loops for eyes and mouth for our marking and practice After tweaking the point, select all and press W and then click on smooth a couple of times. Select these four faces and press E to extrude them. Left click and then scale them down. Now tweak the vertices in and around the loop giving, the, giving a smooth round circular shape. Hit W and press smooth a couple of times. In the object mode, use the sculpt tool to give a nice shape to the head. You can use inflate, grab, and smooth brush to bring out the shape
Now select these faces and extrude once and scale it down sideways to bring out the nose. Adjust the points. Delete these points, select the edge loop and extrude it twice. this will be the mouth fill it as the lips will be painted on top Press set smooth button. Select the eye area and the nose. pull them down a bit to match the reference. I have turned on the proportional editing with the O key. Also adjust the chin a bit, making it sharp. Save the file.
check for any unusual depression or bumps or a sharpness around the contour of the head. Now we will join the head to the body. Position the head over the body. Delete the center vertex. Give the neck a nice roundness. Select both mesh and press Ctrl J to join both of them. Now we see that both edge loops have same number of vertices that is 8. So it will be a perfect match. We can either join vertices together with all time one by one or we can select two edges and press F to make face between them. Delete the loop in between and tweak the points and finally save the file. and finally save the file.